Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday the 29th of January. So as we uh, get towards the end of the month here, we've got the euro in a bit of a consolidated phase, maybe on the short term, uh, leading on from Thursday's uh, rate decision there. We, we pitched up a little bit for Friday, but didn't manage to push through, uh, which has left us uh, in a chop at the moment on the shorter time frame. We've just sort of come down to this four hour time frame. If anything, it looks it's edging on the weaker side. If we start breaking through that four hour 21, well, maybe we, we may roll back towards that uh, section that I left highlighted on this uh, chart, uh, w uh, which may coincide with something like the uh, four hour 50 even. So uh, making it look a little bit clearer here, we we just uh, found a bit of support off the um, weekly pivot early on through the Asian session, but it is chopping through a break of that sort of level and um, just below uh, the Asian session lows then we'll see us breaking that 4 hour 21 and could see us running through. Now we have got the 100 just below us there, the 6 minute 100, but that uh, well, may uh, dissolve, it's been hit before. Um, leading towards that uh, 200 MA on here, the 4 hourly 50, 200 MA maybe maybe in in reach so it's something i'm looking at at the moment there is a straightforward trend line across uh, from the lows here i'll pop that on there that some may follow but uh, i think uh, the horizontal sort of support may be a problem now uh, we may find support into that s1 with those prior lows sitting there as well so it's something to bear bear in mind there is of course uh the, the alternative view here and it is uh, not so clear this morning it uh, if it does start pitching up and uh, we see a break close above this area well then in which case I'll be looking towards Friday's highs there the R1 so there, there is an alternative uh, play there okay let's have a look at the pound uh, let's come back to the dailies here first and well similar picture we're just uh, not doing too much different um, there's still momentum into these uh, both these uh, markets, but when you look at the uh, four hourly picture again, uh, as you get down to the sort of intermediate time frames, the four hourly, the 60 minute, it does look a, 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 a tad on the weaker side. And the euro came up and it just pitched within a within a few pips of its uh, daily pivot. We haven't seen that on the pound here. It's sort of double bottoming where it is at the moment, so there is the chance it could still push back towards that level um, now again it really just needs to close over the eight it could be messy there's there's the uh, 60 minute 21s above and it may be a hard old turn and again the lower side may be the easier route and pushing looking through similar picture really uh, four hour 50 may be that uh, 34 may just get in the way but the four hour 50 may be sort of the target it does start breaking down dolly yen um, not too dissimilar. It did strengthen a lot more um, than the other markets against the US dollar on Friday, but it's uh, seeing a bit of a bounce at the moment. It did continue through. Um, now we're pushing back at the moment towards the weekly pivots, just bring, bring it into the 60 minute time frame here. And we could see it just run through that 60. I mean, if it continues pushing up through post 8 o'clock, watching the after 8 o'clock and see if it continues pushing up, that weekly pivot could be a, a target to the upside there. Um, if, if it continues in its sort of stronger mode, uh, well, the uh, there is a trend line running across here, and it uh, it could, could will be if it closes below that, uh, we'll then see a move down towards uh, Friday's lows there, and maybe pushing on down towards the S1. So uh, at the moment, it's uh, if it's correlated with the other currencies, the uh, pound, the euro, I would expect it, um, if they're coming down, this to be pushing up towards that weekly pivot. Aussie dollar. So the Aussie dollar, well, again, it uh, just like the yen, it managed to hold on to its gains better uh, on Friday and push up a bit further uh, post 8 o'clock. Um, but now we're sort of seeing it uh, chopping back down again to the weekly pivot. So these are this is really following the yen as much as anything else in its case here and softening off if it uh, breaks this pivot here. Well, uh, weekly pivot's a possible target and maybe, maybe if it uh, softens a little bit more, 
Uh, we could see it coming right the way down to that S1, but uh, it could be a slow trip with the Aussie. And finally, the Canadian dollar. Another one that held on a little bit better. It really was the European pairs that uh, just softened a little bit more on Friday. Um, the Canadian dollar, well, it, it too looks like it's pushing at the moment for its weeklies. It's with all these pairings, Friday was a bit of one of those days where there was lack of uh, direction as such. It chopped, and uh, you can see clear chop for most of Friday there. Um, sold off a little bit, but then uh, just chopped. Um, there is the potential for a pushback towards that weekly pivot still um, to the upside. It's not much in the way of mileage. Um, again, I'd watch post 8 o'clock. Again, there's a trend line below the lows here. I'm not going to draw it on for a moment, but uh, if it starts breaking below that trend line through that uh, 60 minute 21, well, the sell, the, 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 we, we may see more strength coming through. I'd be watching the other markets to see if that's correlated. And then it could be a, 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 a attack back down towards those prior lows uh, that we saw on Friday, maybe Thursdays, or even down to the S1 there. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, news-wise today, there's very little out. We've got the um, uh, US uh, Core uh, PCE uh, price index coming out at 1.30. May get a bit of volatility from that, um, with inflation being such a, a, a key thing at the moment there. Uh, but... Uh, Personal spending there at the same time. Not a lot else. Uh, the New Zealand uh, uh, trade balance at 9:45 p.m. That's not necessarily a big mover at all. <laughs> so uh, very little in the way of news today. But uh, we'll see what price action we get this morning, and uh, hopefully catch on the coattails. Have a great day. Bye for now.